Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel, Home Remedy Rescue, where we share the latest information on natural remedies and healthy living. We appreciate your viewership, and we hope you find value and enjoyment in this video. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated on our newest videos. Today, we'll be exploring why it's important to avoid turmeric if you're taking certain medications. We'll also discuss some of the most potentially harmful yet common drug interactions that people experience. Make sure to watch until we discuss the last two most common and potentially harmful drug interactions to avoid. They happen so easily that they may shock you. Before we go further into this video on drug interactions with turmeric to avoid, we invite you to explore the link in the description for one of our top recommendations to enhance your overall health, quality of life, and happiness. Now, let's get started. Turmeric is a bright yellow spice that is often used in curries and other dishes. In recent years, it has become more popular as a natural treatment for a number of health problems. Turmeric is known to have many health benefits, from reducing inflammation to making the brain work better. Thanks to its strong anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. However, despite its many benefits, turmeric can also have potential drug interactions that need to be considered. In the first part of this video, we'll take a closer look at the potential interactions between turmeric and prescription medications and discuss what you need to know before adding turmeric to your daily routine. In the second part of this video, we'll discuss some other common drug interactions that people can avoid. Understanding the potential risks and benefits of turmeric is essential for making informed decisions about your health, whether you're already taking medications or simply looking to improve your health. Turmeric is generally considered safe for consumption and is commonly used as a dietary supplement. However, there are a few prescription drugs that may interact with turmeric and have potentially negative effects on the body if taken together. Here are some examples. 1. Blood thinners. Turmeric may have a blood thinning effect, so taking it with blood thinning medications like warfarin, aspirin, and clopidogrel could increase the risk of bleeding or bruising. 2. Anti-inflammatory drugs. Turmeric has anti-inflammatory properties and may enhance the effect of drugs like ibuprofen, naproxen, and other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Taking these drugs along with turmeric could increase the risk of bleeding or gastrointestinal problems. 3. Diabetes medications. Turmeric may lower blood sugar levels, so taking it with diabetes medications like insulin, glimepiride, and metformin could increase the risk of low blood sugar. 4. Stomach acid reducers. Turmeric may stimulate the production of stomach acid, so taking it with medications that reduce stomach acid, like omeprazole and ranitidine, could reduce their effectiveness. It's important to speak with your healthcare provider before taking any dietary supplement, including turmeric, especially if you're taking prescription medications. Antihistamines are a class of medications that treat allergies by inhibiting the action of histamine, a substance that the body releases in response to allergens. On the other hand, turmeric has anti-inflammatory properties and has been used for many years to treat allergies and other conditions. Taking antihistamines with turmeric may have a negative effect on the body because both drugs have a similar action on histamine. Antihistamines stop histamine from working, but turmeric may stop mast cells from releasing histamine. Mast cells are immune cells that are involved in the allergic reactions. When taken together, antihistamines and turmeric may block histamine too much, which could hurt the immune system and the body's ability to fight infections. Also, the combination could make you sleepy, dizzy, or have other side effects that are common with antihistamines. Therefore, it's important to speak with your healthcare provider before taking antihistamines with turmeric, especially if you're already taking other medications or have underlying health conditions. 
Your healthcare provider can help you determine whether the combination is safe for you and recommend appropriate dosage and timing for each medication. What about other food and drug interactions? Do you like garlic? Garlic is another food and food seasoning that many people enjoy. When consumed in normal food amounts, it's generally considered safe. However, when taken as a supplement, garlic has the potential to interact negatively with certain medications, such as 1. Anticoagulants or blood thinners. Garlic has blood thinning properties, so it may increase the risk of bleeding when taken alongside medications like warfarin, coumadin, heparin, clopidogrel, plavix, or aspirin. 2. Antiplatelet medications. Similar to anticoagulants, antiplatelet medications like clopidogrel, plavix, ticlopidine, ticlid, can interact with garlic and increase the risk of bleeding. 3. Hypoglycemic medications. Garlic may lower blood sugar levels, so it could potentially cause an additive effect when taken with diabetes medications like insulin, metformin, or glyburide, leading to hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. 4. Antihypertensive medications. Garlic may have blood pressure lowering effects, so it might interact with medications used to control high blood pressure, such as lisinopril, captopril, enalapril, or losartan. This could cause blood pressure to drop too low. 5. Immunosuppressants. Garlic has immune stimulating properties, which could potentially interfere with the action of immunosuppressive medications like corticosteroids or cyclosporin. 6. Protease inhibitors. Some research suggests that garlic may interact with protease inhibitors, a class of antiretroviral medications used to treat HIV like sequinavir, inverase, and ritonavir, potentially reducing their effectiveness. 7. Liver enzyme substrates. Garlic can interact with drugs that are metabolized by the liver enzyme CYP2C9, such as warfarin, celecoxib, celebrex, or fluvistatin, lescol, potentially altering their effects. These are just a few examples of potential drug interactions with garlic supplements. Keep in mind that you should always consult with a healthcare professional before making any changes to your medication or supplement regimen and discuss any possible interactions specific to your situation and the medications you are taking. Are you a fan of grapefruit or grapefruit juice? One of the most common but potentially avoidable drug interactions is the interaction between grapefruit or grapefruit juice and certain medications. Grapefruit contains compounds called furanocoumarins, which can inhibit the activity of a liver enzyme known as CYP3A4. This enzyme is responsible for the metabolism of a significant number of medications. When grapefruit is consumed alongside these medications, it can interfere with their metabolism, leading to increased or decreased blood levels of the drugs, which may result in reduced effectiveness or an increased risk of side effects. Some examples of medications that can negatively interact with grapefruit include 1. Statins cholesterol-lowering medications like atorvastatin, Lipitor, Simvastatin, Zocor, or Levastatin, Mevacor, can have their blood levels increased by grapefruit, leading to a higher risk of side effects such as muscle pain or liver damage. 2. Calcium channel blockers. Grapefruit can change how well blood pressure medicines like nifedipine, procardia, philodipine, plendil, and verapamil, calin, work, which could lead to low blood pressure, dizziness, or a faster heart rate. 3. Benzodiazepines. Grapefruit can interact with certain benzodiazepines, such as diazepam, valium, and midazolam. First, potentially increasing their sedative effects and the risk of side effects like dizziness and impaired coordination. 4. Antiarrhythmic medications. Grapefruit can increase the blood levels of medications like amiodarone, cordarone, and dronidarone, moltac, potentially increasing the risk of side effects and heart rhythm disturbances. 5. 
Antihistamines. Grapefruit can interact with some antihistamines, such as fexofenadine, Allegra, potentially reducing their effectiveness. 6. Immunosuppressants. Grapefruit can interact with medications like cyclosporine, neural, and tacrolimus, prograf, which are used to prevent organ transplant rejection, potentially increasing their blood levels and risk of side effects. 7. Erectile dysfunction medications. Grapefruit can increase the blood levels of sildenafil, Viagra, and other erectile dysfunction medications, potentially increasing the risk of side effects. 8. Protease inhibitors. Grapefruit can interact with the HIV medications like sequinavir, inverase, and ritonavir, norvir, potentially altering their effectiveness. This is not an exhaustive list, and there may be other medications that can interact with grapefruit. If you are worried about possible drug interactions with grapefruit in your particular case, you should talk to a healthcare professional. Is there anyone who doesn't love ginger? It is a wonderful way to flavor so many things and help with various ailments. When consumed in normal food amounts, ginger is generally considered safe. However, when taken as a supplement, ginger has the potential to interact negatively with certain medications. Some examples include 1. Anticoagulants or blood thinners. Ginger has blood thinning properties, so it may increase the risk of bleeding when taken alongside medications like warfarin, coumadin, heparin, clopidogrel, platix, or aspirin. 2. Antiplatelet medications. Similar to anticoagulants, antiplatelet medications like clopidogrel, platix, anticlopidine, ticlid, can interact with ginger and increase the risk of bleeding. 3. Hypoglycemic medications. Ginger may lower blood sugar levels, so it could potentially cause an additive effect when taken with diabetes medications like insulin, metformin, or glyburide, leading to hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. 4. Antihypertensive medications. Ginger may have blood pressure lowering effects, so it might interact with medications used to control high blood pressure, such as lisinopril, captopril, enalapril, or losartan. This could cause blood pressure to drop too low. 5. Liver enzyme substrate CYP1A2. Ginger can interact with drugs that are metabolized by the liver enzyme CYP1A2, such as emetriptyline, elevil, haloperidol, haldol, or undansetron, zofran, potentially altering their effects. 6. Additional liver enzyme subtrait CYP2C9. Ginger can also interact with drugs that are metabolized by the liver enzyme CYP2C9, such as warfarin, celecobix, celebrex, or fluvastatin, lescol, potentially altering their effects. These are just a few examples of potential drug interactions with ginger supplements. It's important to consult with a healthcare professional to discuss any possible interactions specific to your situation and the medications you are taking. Before we discuss the last two most common drug interactions to avoid, we invite you to explore the link in the description for one of our top recommendations to enhance your overall health, quality of life, and happiness. Now, there are two very common ways that people put themselves at risk for potentially harmful drug interactions. They involve using pain medications, specifically combining NSAIDs with anticoagulant drugs and using oral contraceptives with antibiotics. Here are the details. 1. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, and anticoagulants or antiplatelet agents. NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen, naproxen, and aspirin, are commonly used to treat pain, inflammation, and fever. When NSAIDs are taken with anticoagulant medications, warfarin, heparin, or antiplatelet medications, clopidogrel, ticlopidine, the risk of bleeding may increase due to their combined blood thinning effects. 
To avoid this interaction, patients should consult with their healthcare provider before combining these medications. Alternative pain relief or anti-inflammatory medications may be recommended. 2. Oral contraceptives and antibiotics. Some antibiotics, such as rifampin and certain tetracyclines, may decrease the effectiveness of oral contraceptives, birth control pills, by interfering with the hormone levels needed for contraception. This interaction may lead to unintended pregnancy. While this interaction is not universal across all antibiotics, women taking oral contraceptives should consult with their healthcare provider when prescribed an antibiotic. If necessary, the use of a backup or alternative method of contraception may be recommended during antibiotic treatment and for a period after completing the antibiotic course. Always talk to a doctor or nurse before starting a new medication or changing an old one. They can tell you about possible drug interactions and how to handle them. Click subscribe and the notification bell so you get more videos on the best home remedies and health tips. Harmful drug interactions can be avoided if you know about them and take the steps you need to. Turmeric, garlic, ginger, and grapefruit are very common foods that are easy to consume without much consideration for how they could affect the use of medication. Pain medications and oral contraceptives are widely used as well, with the potential for avoidable interactions. We hope this video has provided you with valuable and insightful information on how to protect your loved ones and yourself. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness tips, and leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, and take care.